Holy heck, oh my goodness. This intersection is bumpy and it's windy. What's up my friends, We We're doing something a little bit different today. We'll get into it in just a second. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm your old buddy John, except I'm your new buddy John. And I do motovlogs and generally just try to have as much fun as I can on two wheels. Usually that's on my Harley Street Glide, as you see today. Yes, in all of her blue, 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 blue billiard blue glory. Oh, napkin, don't run over the napkin. There was a napkin in the road, I swear it was there. If I had enough detail, you could have seen it. So today is June 17th. Since everybody likes negativity, I'm gonna do like the top five negative things about motovlogging or things I hear complained about frequently. If you can't already tell, it's hella windy as the kids would say. You can see these trees up here. You can see them sway. Oh my goodness. This is number one on my list of things to complain about is the wind noise. It is the bane of all the motor vloggers existence. It is something that we deal with. Oh, you know what? I, I knew I was gonna do this. Yeah. Oh, that's a little better already. Okay, maybe not so good. <laughs> oh my God, if you're hearing this, it isn't too bad and it's only in certain portions, all right? So take that, you know, with a grain of salt, watch your blood pressure, all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> I got the wind deflectors on here. If you can see those, yeah, wind deflectors, they're phenomenal, but it's so hot out. The bike said it was 101 about two minutes ago. I said, well, I'm riding anyway. So I rode this morning and I had the wind deflectors open for the ride. When you flip them up like this, they blow air right onto your hands, which is phenomenal. But anyway, back on topic, and I have a feeling I'm gonna say that a lot in this video. So let's start a drinking game. How many times does John say back on topic or some derivative thereof? Hey, every time he does, take a drink of your favorite beverage. Doesn't even have to be alcoholic. Stay super hydrated. Hey, that's a great tip for when it's hot out. And those look like storm clouds. Ruh -roh. Danger, Will Robinson. But anyway, stay hydrated, wear the right gear. You can ride in hot weather like your old buddy John does. I am your old buddy John now, right? Right? We, we did the subscription thing already. <laughs> I hate asking at the beginning of the video. I'll leave a little card at the end if you make it that far. But anyway, biker, what's up, buddy? All right. I see somebody walking. Go ahead, bud. Go. Go. We're in a kind mood today. Yes, we see lots of school buses. It's the last day of school and they are running their late pickups or drop-offs. Anywho, back on topic, <laughs> take a swig. Oop, I'll do it. I'm staying hydrated. Water, not coffee today. Mostly water, a little bit of coffee, a little bit. Anywho, back on topic. Oop, you know, that's gonna be a, like a cycle. We're not gonna do that. So there I was minding my own business and audio is the bane of my existence. You just have to know the roads you're gonna ride on and test your gear and you'll figure it out. I mean, it takes practice to do this well. I still don't do it well, but I like doing it, so I keep doing it. And that's all I'm going to say about that, I think. Practice, know your gear, and maybe buy different gear that works better. Hey, a red light. Maybe there won't be any wind noise here. But the other thing that I see a lot of motor vloggers complaining about or hear on their videos is people don't watch the whole video. And I get it. If you bore them, they're clicking off. If you leave too much blank space, I think they click off. We as people these days in the 21st century have a short attention span. You want those 30 second TikToks so you can watch 48 of them. Well, if you watch 48 half minute TikToks, that's uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, 24 minutes. So that is longer than the average moto vlog. And that is longer than I'm gonna try to make this moto vlog. Go around the slow poke, bum ba -dum, ba -dum. I wonder if that's the same Acura from that video. Huh, woo! We are back on Beaver Dam and it is windy as heck out here. But we're gonna get protected by the trees. Damn it, God, it's hot out. Oh my goodness, over hundred degrees. I mentioned that. Move on, John. Now, back on topic, everybody take a drink. Ah, you thought I'd forget? Nope. Whoa, that's a big stick. Not a big stick, it's, but it's large. It takes up a lot of space. Hey, hey, there we go. And I hear people complain like, oh, it takes too long to set up my bike for vlogging and my helmet and all this. 
that's why I came up with the uh, design of my helmet and the mounts I have on my bike. And that truck looks like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead of you. Ooh, that car's tore up. I have this bearing mount on my bike. It takes about 30 seconds to put a Hero 9 on it. I have my helmet, which I set up before I even leave the house. Seriously, it is set up before I leave the house because otherwise, you know, I'd be like running cables and stuff. And that would be a detriment. My early videos, I had a mic here that I used to record my audio. This way, I just have one thing, boom. Put the camera on the mount, plug in the mic, make sure the angle is right. And I've gone over that in previous videos too. And I know what I'm doing, bing, bang, boom, I'm on the bike. It takes me less than two extra minutes to put the camera on the bike, put the helmet on, start up the remote. It, there's the remote. I've mentioned it in like 40 videos now. I'm done. Maybe, maybe not, but either way, getting back on topic. Hey, everybody take a drink. I dare say that's an EcoBoost. It sounded like a Turbo 4, not like a V8, but it doesn't take me much time at all to get set up to vlog, so. After that, it's just a topic, right? The other thing I hear people complain about is, I don't know what to talk about on my videos. You know what, in my case, I happen to be standing outside waiting to get on a bike. I was like, man, it's really windy. Wind is the bane of my existence. Hey, and I came up with this whole video on the fly. I don't know if that's a superpower or not, and I need to go way north on this road. Yeah, we're gonna get on Route 1. Yes, all the way on the east coast of America. So at this point, we've gone over audio. I'm sort of protected here from a little bit of the wind noise. You gotta do the testing. I mention it all the time. You gotta do your testing. You gotta get comfortable with your gear. People complain about, you know, the gear not working. <laughs> so a lot of times it's user error, but sometimes it is the GoPro. Do a factory reset, try some new settings. Try something different. So if you're stuck on what content to record, you could always just go, and I know I'm talking mainly to moto vloggers here, but in any hobby, you sort of get this, uh, you sort of get the same thing, right? It's like, try something new and you might like it. I mean, I've lucked into my scatterbrain videos because I just recorded a long video. I was like, I was talking to Dewey one day. I was like, I don't know what to do with this. I got seven topics I talk about. They're all fairly interesting. I had a lot of fun. I saw some cool sites and I don't really want to throw the footage away. And I was like, I was just scatterbrained. He goes, that's a great title for the video. So I've run with it and I've got like a dozen of those videos now. And people like Black Phoenix Entertainment, go check out him. He's up in New England, rides a spider. Him and uh, Mama Phoenix and Baby Phoenix, they have a lot of fun. They're good people. I like their videos quite a bit. Whew, it is windy. Goodness gracious. Whoop, change lanes. Always use the turn signal. Always use your turn signals. Oh boy, look at that. That was a very smooth coming to a stop. You know, I could probably do a whole video just on riding around doing what I do when I ride. You think that's a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> but I like to laugh a lot and have fun. I'm always looking at my YouTube stats, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. And it's really a crapshoot. Everybody says, come up with searchable content. You know, I tried that and I was not a fan of doing searchable content per se. I happen to really love doing the GoPro tests and the GoPro update videos. Those I have a lot of fun with, but I don't really want to do the research to do like, this is the new bike of the week. It's not my thing. Other people do it better. So I have gracefully bowed out of that uh, arena, as it were. I wonder if there's a back way from this road to the next road, because we're gonna get on 198. We have not ridden on 198 in quite a while. Ooh, look at that wind. I can't get over how windy it is out. Just up there, down here, it doesn't feel too bad. How's the audio so far? I'm always experimenting, trying to see what works. Not like my old college days, however. <laughs> I never did any experimentation, but I hear people say that all the time, and I think it's funny, so I'll do it too. I'm a copycat. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, little piece of paper or something. And I see a number of motovloggers that they're like, 
I pigeonholed myself into this one type of content. Yeah, you know what? If I really wanted to grow, I would probably do nothing but camera tips every week or DaVinci Resolve tips every week. But I like to spice it up. You know, I can only edit so many vlogs before I'm like, yep, yeah, John, your, your footage is boring. And that's stuff I film. You know, and if I find it boring, there's no way in hell I think anybody else is gonna find it fun. So I delete those rides, move on. And I, yeah, moving on. Man, this wind is blowing me over at a stop. I'm just like, got my foot down, trying to prop the bike up against the wind. <laughs> I never record in this kind of wind. I usually don't ride in this kind of wind, but I figured, what the hell? It's not gonna rain, I'll be all right. Hey, there's Heiser Cycles. That's where I bought my Vaquero. Great local guys there. Absolutely love that dealership. I still get parts for my Bobber and my KZ there. Yes, they still sell parts at a Kawasaki dealer for a 43 year old now bike. Yeah, 43 years old. Yeah, shocker, but they sell them and their prices aren't half bad. At least their prices aren't. Yeah, that's a weird intersection. You make a left onto the next road and then you gotta like get over here because I don't know what the hell's going on. Yep, you're gonna put your signal on, okay. But there's like two lanes here, but then there's three lanes over there. Yeah, I'm in neutral, okay, good. <laughs> Make sure you're neutral before you let go of the clutch and pop it and kill the bike. Ah, New York, New Yorkers lost. We will let them in. We do not have the right of weight. Yeah, that's a battle I'm never gonna win. So, yep, come on over, bud. It's okay, but you can't make a right up there, so I don't know what you want. I wanna get in this lane. Yee! Yahoo! Bumpy, bumpy bus ride, boss. Now I've completely forgotten where my train of thought was headed. The only people that fail quit. Yeah, yeah only the people that quit fail. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Everybody else is successful in my eyes. You know, I can count on like 40 people to watch every one of my videos. 40 people. And those are the best people in the world as, as far as I'm concerned. I'm all right with that. I'm, I'm not here for everybody. I'm here for me and the people that enjoy this. I got a comment from somebody the other day said, I wish I found your channel sooner or something to that effect. And it's heartwarming stuff like that is like a shot in the arm of go, 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 move forward juice. Look at those clouds. Doesn't that look cool? That is neat. What a neat little formation. But anyway, we're on 198. We passed out a Laurel. We're now into a little better recording area. It's 25 miles an hour. And I always record on this section of road because I'm using these cameras as a dash cam at this point because the drivers are going to do something stupid. You are guaranteed to have at least one dum-dum on the road for this next like half a mile. So that is something else you can do with your GoPros. There's a tip for you. Hey, look, I'm not just whinging today. I'm offering up tips. And the tip is record everything. So there you go. There's a tip. I, I have done my due diligence today. I've tried to help somebody. I do love helping and making people laugh. It is a lot of fun for me. Ooh, ooh, green light. What are we gonna do? Who's gonna get stupid? Which one of you? All right, so the Lexus, no, that's a camera. He's gonna cut in front. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. They're tailgating each other to get in front of all of us. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, he didn't see me. He was focused on traffic. You should be focused on traffic when you're driving. Hopefully you're not on your phone right now. It's like a pet peeve of mine. Aha, not gonna go into that topic again. But this is as good a time as any to wrap it up. Uh, I think I covered everything, but I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you're having a lot of fun. I hope you're healthy, happy, and safe. And until the next video, bye. God, this wind is horrible. Oh.